We are in the Observatory Solutions Double Star 2 Observatory, which is a 6 by 8 uh, roll-off roof uh, structure. Uh, this is our second observatory. We use this mostly for testing products, our own products, uh, products from other manufacturers, as well as our own software and software configuration setups for uh, you know, automated observatory installations. Uh, we're going to talk today about uh, the uh, automation system that we provide for roll-off roof uh, observatories, in particular the motorization aspect of it. Uh, we're looking at uh, the setup that we have up here. Uh, we're utilizing a chain-driven system. This is basically a closed-loop chain system uh, that allows us to uh, motorized observatories of any size and we can send uh, the roof uh, well past the end of the observatory whether it just be a couple of feet or 10, 20, 30 feet uh, past the end only limited by the length of chain. Uh, our chain connects at both ends to the uh, chain plate up in here. We've got uh, tensioning bolts on either side uh, to connect the chain uh, below that, you can see the chain track. This is an old version of what we're utilizing today. This is uh, just basically a garage door opener track, but we've got a track that we've designed, or a, a, a track that we've designed that holds the chain. Basically, it takes up the weight of the chain, so it's just not dangling in air. It rides down here, and then the top part of the chain, and of course, will ride up in here. Uh, what we can't see is way outside at the end of the roof support system is what we call an idler pulley. It changes the direction of the chain, lets the chain wrap around. Over here at this end, we're uh, taking a look at the uh, roof uh, motor components of things. Below here is a bracket. Uh, this is our mounting bracket. We can mount that. It's designed to mount uh, to standard stud space 16 inches on center. Uh, we've got uh, a motor, a uh, gear reduction box. You can see here one of the idler pulleys uh, that again reverses the chain direction. Uh, what you can't see back about in here is another idler pulley uh, that takes the chain from the bottom, uh, wraps it under our sprocket gear on the motor, and then back over to here to go you know, out that direction. Uh, right now, I've got a third of a horsepower motor here, which is probably overkill for this little 6x8 uh, roll-off roof, but works just fine. We can do uh, half horsepower. Probably don't need more than that. Right now, I'm using a gear reduction box that's got a 30-to-1 uh, reduction. You can get them in any size. This 30-to-1 one, reduction uh, opens the roof at about uh, 31 feet a minute, so I'm about 17 seconds or so just to open the roof on this observatory. Uh, for larger observatories, we could change, uh, well, of course, we'll increase, increase the horsepower to probably about a half, uh, but we may uh, also change uh, the reduction to maybe a 40 to 1 or a 50 to 1. This just reduces the amount of stress on the chain itself when opening and closing the roof. All right, we're all powered up, ready to go. Let's do a quick open of the roof. We've got uh, possible thunderstorms today, so we won't make this video too long. So I'll let the roof go uh, maybe about a foot, foot and a half past the end. But like I said, all depending on the length of the, the roof runners, you can go to any size. We could probably go about another foot and a half out, which will give us uh, better skies. Although in this area, it doesn't really matter with the tall pine trees. And like I said, this is really more of a test bed than an actual observatory for stargazing. Uh, let's come back the other way and show the closed operation. closed up.